Welcome back to Gray Squadron Gaming, where we have another exciting episode in our Legion Battle Report series. This is episode 87. In this episode, we're going to do a little different. This is going to be more in line with our uh, kind of like a cup series game. We're going to be a little more tournament style, a little bit more medalist, really to give Don practice because I'm going to be out of town for the first couple days of Adepticon. Don will be there for the last chance qualifier, so I'm going to give him a little practice here. I will be back in town the weekend, so me and Don will be running together Sunday at the team tournament. So if you're playing the team tournament, Come say hi. If you're not, still come say hi. We'll be wearing Grace Squadron gaming shirts. We'll have some stickers and some other things to give away as well. We will also be selling Grace Squadron gaming t-shirts. So if you want one, bring your twenty bucks. Yes, we have save a, on shipping. Save on, it's twenty five dollars flat or twenty with five dollars shipping. If you want to order it now, just let us know. Um, with that said, you're looking at my list for the night. This is the Blizzard Force list because if you guys follow Legion Meta at all competitively, this is the list that's kind of everywhere at the moment. So I don't run Empire, obviously, guys, but I'm going to give it my best to be competitive. I play against Empire a lot. I think you could give a five-year-old Blizzard Force, and they'd win 90% of the time. <laughs> so... So you're telling me I only got to do much. Okay. <laughs> well, I've got the Imperial Officer with Improvised Orders. i got Operative Vader with Tenacity, Force Push, Force Choke, and Into the Fray. Two of the Heavy Response Units, both the DLT and the RT-97C. Four units of Spear Bikes, all with the Emergency Trans Transponder, and two Snow Troopers. Bringing me in at something. I'll tell you. I'll tell you later. I, I forgot what it was, to be honest. At some number of points. It's a good number of points. I don't know. That brings you in at a nice 782. It's probably going to be blue, guys. <laughs> I think that's the point of this list. Um, with that said, special thanks to all our Patreons. Um, specifically our Commander Patreons. We've been posting them to Discord. So if you're not part of our Discord, you do not need to be a Patreon to be a member of our Discord. Patreons just get special chat privileges in the Discord. So feel free to join whether you are or aren't a patreon but we have been posting stuff there like by the time this video airs which is going to be sunday we should have just went live wednesday so if you didn't catch us live don't worry we're going to be doing it more regularly at the gift of games probably about once a month ish on average and go back and watch it if you did watch it hope you enjoy it with that said special shout out to the commanders huge thanks to our commander patreons jason nickercheck dan duback jamal alwahadi mitchum ernst alex bam michael klein caleb rogers anthony johnson anthony minerva steve sneed paul jorgensen staff Jess David, Archon Dan, Thomas Troutman, James Wood, Sam Page, Andre Moscott, Kev Powell, Gregory Williams, Eli, Arthur, and Walden Gaywood, Cam Nickel, Anthony Bunomo, Kazran, Zach Attack, The Calico Kid, Chris Kemp, and Flobit. Huge Thanks. thanks to you guys. We can't, could not do this without you. Yeah, big shout out to you guys. We appreciate all the support. A couple episodes ago, we showed our newest map from Legion Train, which the bunker you're looking at the screen is also from them. But we were able to use some of those Patreon funds to buy the map that they sit on, as well as many other things like going live tomorrow. It's going to use some other tech that we have that we got to get because of you. So thank you, guys. With that said, well, let's go check out Don's list he's bringing to Adepticon, at least as of now. Maybe he tweaks something after this match and live. I don't know. But let's see. Maybe I'll play Blizzard Force. Who knows? <laughs> no, you wouldn't. All right, guys, you know it. The Dark Troopers have rapidly become one of my favorite units in the game. So I've got Moff Gideon with the Dark Saber and Aggressive Tactics. I have two units of Imperial Dark Troopers with an extra Dark Trooper, the XSIV Assault Cannon, Programmed Loyalty. I have Boba Fett with the Flame Projector, Situational Awareness, and Prepared Supplies. And then four units of Naked Stormtroopers. I come in at a solid 800 points, definitely making Joe the blue player. We're going to take a look at the cards that he's got and see what we do. So you can pretty much assume, unless there's another 800-point match at Defcon, you're always going to be red. Always going to be red. Yeah. Okay, fair. Let's do it. And I'm pretty pretty fine with that. There's not a lot of objectives that these Dark Troopers are really terrible with. But let's see what we do. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> this is the giveaway. Sorry, guys. This is the... That was really funny for me. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, RT2, all arts giveaways, one person with one and one, one person with one another, one person with one another. Also, some more awesome of those mirrored exclusive to Grey Squatch Gaming Curl Pot tokens. There's mirrored suppression and mirrored bounty tokens. Hard to show on camera, but they have a nice shine to them. Um, if you're interested, comment anything below to get entered into win. And we'll give you a word of the day as the game progresses when we think of a good word of the day. But yeah, these were given by a good friend, Paul Jorgens, one of our Commander patrons, to give away. So I've been giving them away slowly over the last few months. These are so the last nice, of yeah. them that we have. So if you're interested, comment below and say General General Kenobi. Just because of the way I said hello. I want it to be General Kenobi. I'm picking this one. We have two Empire lists, and your word of the day is General Kenobi. Yeah, yeah. This is how, what you get when we let Joe run the channel. I, I like it. I like it. Okay. 
Here's the battle deck for the Blizzard Force. I am going to pass on my first one. I like everything I see. I am going to get rid of Hostage Exchange because I don't want to exchange any hostages with you. He's getting rid of Hostage. Now, that leaves me with a move to get Bombing Run, but him also flip it. So as a player with Force Pure Backs, I'm going to have to try to get Bombing Run. I'm going to give it to you. Oh, wait. No, I would never do that. Okay, so but we're playing Breakthrough, which also isn't terrible. So we got Danger Close, Vader Likes, Breakthrough, and Supply Drop. We'll go over to the map, get it all set up, deployed, show it off, and get started here. Welcome to round one, where I went with Overwhelming Barrage, which is once this round at the end of activation of a friendly commander unit, we perform an attack with the following weapons. Range four, blast, beam, and unit deflects across the wall of fun words. And he went with... Ouch! Also an for push, push bro. I was reading it in... And what? Uh, that sounded more like Klingon. You're mixing your, your stuff. I gave my orders to Vader and to the commander herself. The, I have three of my bikes up there. Both have response units and Vader's up there. We have one snow up there. Probably going to look at that. A snow down here looking at that and a bike down here as well. He, on his long side, he just has two stormtroopers. And then everything else he has in a little <laughs> scrum right here. They were practicing, you know. They wanted to be a nice scrum. Um, real quick, before we get too far in. This building and all the little scatter terrain you see across the board is from our good friends at in, at um, Legion Terrain. Check out Legion Terrain. Discount code below. Every month it changes, so if you try, if you're watching an old video, like, hey, where's that discount code? Watch our newest video. There'll be a up to date discount code for you as well. Also, Curl Pod has these awesome tokens. Check them out. GSG twelve gives you twelve percent off these great tokens. And when you buy those great tokens, what a token holder you could use. This is from J Squared. As you guys know, all J Squared stuff has magnets to hold the lid to the top and bottom when you're playing. Also has this great template holder, which is, no, this is not the updated version. The updated version now holds a silhouette and a long silhouette. So both versions do stack in here now. So as check well out. as the Chonky Boy Range Rollers. And the Chonky Range Rollers. Yeah, those are online. Check them out, J Squared. With that said, he won, or I should say I lost the roll off. So he will get to start us off. All righty. I go to the stack. It's a core. We're going to go with these purple stormtroopers standing all on the open like. They're yeah. just going to start trudging towards this box. They're not going to quite make it there. <laughs> so and close so yet so far. They're going to hang out over here a little bit. And they're going to take a dodge for their second. Oh, they take a dodge for any reason in particular? No, there's not any bikes or snowtroopers I have to worry about shooting me. Okay, good. Good, good. Go to my stack. Oh, we start with the core. We're going to keep that. We're going to go with one of these fine HRU stormtroopers. I think so, sir. I think we're going to take an aim for my first action. And we are within range four of those dark troopers. So we will shoot the RT-97C and the DLT. So it's going to be three reds, three whites coming at them. Not bad. Let's go to the dice box. Okay, we've got three reds, three whites, two reds from the DLT, and um, three whites and one red from the other gun, the R, whatever it is. RT-79C. That one. Yep. With the aim, precise one, impact one. He's a dark trooper. Dark trooper has the keyword that gives you... I forget what it's called, but it gives you no... Un unstoppable. Or, no. Uh, no, it's not that one. Unhindered? No. It's the it's one a... that gives you... You don't get cover. Yeah. No but cover he has full armor, troopers. so he doesn't really care. Oh, that's a solid start. Yeah, I mean, kind of. You have armor, so... I mean, it's still two. And we're going to spend an aim on these three to see if we can uh, get any more crits. Maybe crits. No. Right, so this will impact into impact. a crit, if I can find it here. we got two coming out. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right, we will spend their surge token. We'll take the first wound on the Dark Trooper. All right, let's go with the Dark Trooper unit that he just shot that uh, we're in danger of losing a dice on here. So for their first movement, we're just going to move over here. They're speed one anyway, so the uh, difficult terrain isn't going to make a difference. Well, real quick, yeah, let's talk about terrain. We forgot to. Um, your buildings, your Star Tools. Star Tools, what are you doing here? You're down X-Wing, including the wing piece, the Vader ship, my advance one, the crystals, and the mounds are all heavy cover. The down snow speeder and all these things are light cover. This is difficult to pass through. The mounds are shorter than your mini, so therefore you don't need to climb. But we did say they are difficult terrain, so it's still going to slow your speed down to one. Um, did I miss anything on terrain? I don't think so. Supplies drop. We have one, two. Where'd you put your third? Three. Three. Four. Then I have my three kind of all around the X-Wing. Like the X-Wing dropped its supplies. <laughs> okay. No, right. sorry. You moved so there. I've moved up. I've ended in range three of the HRU unit that has not gone yet. So we're going to shoot them. Hopefully do a little damage. Okay. All right, so this Dark Trooper unit is still a full unit. That means we're throwing eight black dice, surge, uh, critical one, into the light cover of these Stormtroopers. I do have an aim from their uh, retinue. So one critical and a crit, and then two hits. That's all right, start. We will uh, spend the aim on these two. 
And so one of them will go to cover. You're looking at four. Let me go double check cover real quick. Okay, he's got four after cover. We're gonna take two. Take two. Okay, we're gonna go with the commander here. She is going to go ahead and inspire the stormtrooper unit that was just shot. It's okay, guys. You know, I worked you really lost hard to get that suppression on there. It's been fun. She's gonna then say, "Hey, I'm gonna spot her, you guys, and give them a name." And then she's gonna take a name herself, and we're gonna shoot our overwhelming barrage. It is beam one, so that means I get two targets. Okay. The second one has to be within range one and line of sight of me. It's uh, not like it's gonna be hard. So it's not it's critical, guys. It's just it's not impact. It's blast, which gets ready to cover beam one, mean deflect and suppress them. So I think what we're gonna do actually here mm -hmm. is we're going to um, we're gonna focus on your two cores that are the easiest to clean up over here. I don't know that you can technically see them because of this blocking your line of sight. I'll in double this check area. it. If we can't see them, then I might move out. But I, if I can't see anyone, let's take a look. We can see one stormtrooper unit, so we're gonna shoot them, and they'll beam over into uh, Gideon. We can see Boba as well, but Boba has a dodge, and Gideon and Boba roll the same defense. So I'd rather take the non-dodge shot. Makes Blast sense. takes away the cover. Um, sh does she search to hit? She does. The card search searches. To hit. Oh, to the hit. card searches to hit too. So it doesn't yeah. matter. Okay, let's roll. So it's against stormtrooper, so I didn't say that. Let's we'll spend the aim early. Okay, okay. Alrighty. Just, I just like two. I like two. Just black one, lose one. So that's dead stormtrooper. Two suppression for that stormtrooper, and then this is on Gideon. Much better hit on Gideon. Gideon will take four. Four on Gideon. All right, Gideon will take one as well. All right, we're going to go to the stack again. It's a core unit. We'll go over to the black unit of the Stormtroopers over here. They're just going to wrap around here. And move on up this way. They're coming closer for me, guys. Isn't that nice? Isn't that? I like it. It's like we have to break through or something. Look at my stack. We've got another core. Let's go with the heavy response he shot earlier that I inspired off Sure, of. sure. They already have an aim, but let's take another aim, and then we're in range three, so he did kill two of my guys, but I'll get one additional white from the leader, so let's shoot into him. Sounds good. Okay, so two reds from the DLT, one red, three whites from the RC. Is that what it's called? R yeah. R RTC? Something R like that. RC79C. And then the, the one <laughs> white dice right. from the, the leader that's left in that unit. So all together, four whites, three reds, uh, surging to hit, impact one, precise one. He has full armor. Oh, that's what you want to see right there. Oh, yeah, that's really good for me. That's what you want to see. So let's keep these three. We'll spend an aim to reroll these three for fun. Whites and reds don't matter what I'm rerolling at this point because we're just looking for crits now. There's another one. Jeez. We'll spend this other aim to reroll these three. Can we get one more, guys? Can we get one more? No. Oh. We do search. This would have been a good shot against another unit. That would have been a great shot against another unit. So you're looking at four. Four onto my dark troopers is not good. We'll block two, but that means we lose Dark Trooper. All right, go to the stack here. It's a heavy. I only have one set of heavy tokens, so those are just going to be another heavy. So we're going to continue trudging forward with these Dark Troopers, and we are going to take a shot into the green speeder bikes up here and see if we can start whittling them down. Okay. All right, so we have lost a Dark Trooper, so we are down to seven black dice with critical ones into the light cover speeder bikes. That's not bad. Uh, Carver's going to eat one, so you're rolling for three. Three, I roll white dice, unfortunately, surge the block, so we're hoping for at least one pick here. Oh, or, or all of them. We'll just or take them all, all and just start strong there. It, That's it's somewhere. literally just on the other Opposite side. Opposite side, Joe. There we go. Oh, this one too, huh? There, boom. Okay, well, that's going to be how that goes then, I guess. Let me go to my stack. We've got speeder bikes. Um, Actually, I think we're going to go with these speeder bikes out here, because both these units have went, correct? They sure have. So I have the same problem as Don. I have... Uh, only three support and there's four supports in this list so this is my also support i know it says i have you guys but just for the sake of order tokens okay so we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put this in the notched base completely in the notched base okay so joe's slight temper tantrum over there is because we did receive a couple comments last on last week's video that we don't uh we, we that's play why a look, how, look how hard that is to get it out right there. so we have painted measurements and painted bases which means they don't really fit in there hang on it's, it's got to go in the, uh, there we go but okay. we also pre-measure everything before we film this guys so when we move it's because we already know where everyone's going and we've already measured ranges so we're not cheating there's not really a lot of sloppy play we just want to make these videos fast and concise for the viewers we also got comments i'm going to show real quick that apparently one of the one of the moves i did something 
like this and I didn't touch them to it. Once again, I'm just showing you the movement, but we have already right. know where they're going to end we, up. We know the end position, so we kind of just move through it. But I'm going to try to do better so that way you guys can see it a little better, okay? But it's going to slow us down a tiny bit. So you can pause. So what here, are you doing here's now, my option. I want to kind of talk this through with everyone. Is right now, because the silhouette roll on the whole cylinder, and you're here, so my cylinder is definitely crossing this train. Correct. Which means you're getting heavy cover. That is also So correct. I have two choices here. I can either take an aim and shoot through heavy cover, which is a risk whether my aim converts or not, or I just move up a little bit, remove the cover, and guarantee you will not take away two hits. And I think that's the better option. Sounds we great. don't need to go a full speed three, I don't think, no. But we want to start moving up as much as we can as well. So I think we're going to move about a speed two. Okay. And come here. I'm not going to go in the template, but I'm going right underneath it just to, for the sake of time. And when you're moving not a full speed maneuver, you don't need to end up in the notch. You just need to start from the notch. So yep. not a big so deal. Compulse, first action move, second action. We're gonna, I think we're gonna actually gonna blend. <laughs> Let me have light cover, don't they? No, only one does, right? No, oh, maybe. I mean, I because get, of the way the silhouette would be on that side, I would get cover on the black. I was gonna get first. cheeky here, but I think we'll just shoot them. Alrighty. Okay, so the double rainbow, black, white, red each. They have impact one, it becomes two. His two shooting, impact won't matter. I have surge to hit. He has no cover, but a dodge. Let's see what I get. Jeez. Huh. Not bad. So we'll just dodge one? Yeah, we'll go ahead and dodge one. Okay, Bring it down to four again. That's that's the number of Joe's shots today. It's just all fours. I wouldn't mind if it goes well. But then I'll take that. that. I'll take that. Can we do that actually with the Dark Troopers? Can I rewind that roll? Bring back a Dark Trooper? I'll give up the whole unit of Stormtroopers. Does that sound like a fair trade? Hey, I'm going to go my stack here. It's a core. We're going to go with the core that he shot that has two suppression and one Stormtrooper down. We'll reroll this guy because he's cocked. They're going to get one action. They're not going to panic because Gideon's there with his Courage Bubble of six. Um, and for this action, I think what we're just going to do is move this unit just a little closer. Just a teeny tiny bit Just more. a hint. Just yeah. a skosh. And then we're Stormtroopers confuse me because you have a red pauldron on the one guy. And yeah. And red shoulders on the other guy who's with the red leader. So, but I but see the bases. all red. The bases make more sense now. I mean, I he's a whole red guy. I know. I get it. Do you get it? Sometimes. Are these nice shirts? This is the old version of the Gray Squadron. Are we both wearing the old ones right now? We sure are. Woo! We call each other. We try to match outfits pretty much every day, so. We do. It's true. Going to my stack, we've got another core. All right, which snow trooper do you want a snow trooper with? I'm going to guess it's going to be um, the snow these troopers ones that here. actually are going to do something. Yeah, I think so. So, what we're going to do with these guys is I was thinking about coming up to get that box. I can't quite get there in one move. It's true. And there's some stormtroopers right there that, so maybe we kind of split the difference. So we're going to aim. Okay, aim in. And then we're going to move up. Aim in and moving up. So then we could shoot some stormtroopers. They're going to have heavy cover my what? Aim in, shooting, and moving up. Gotcha. So that way we can kind of pepper them a little bit. To the dice box. Okay. Going to aim. They're four white dice, surging the hint. They have steady. So I took an aim and then moved up, and I'm using steady to shoot. No precise on these guys. He has heavy cover. So looking at two so far, because we do surge to hit. We'll spend the aim on uh, these two over here, if I can get the dice to stay. <laughs> you will have to make oh, a save. I'm having to roll for one here. Oh, and a Stormtrooper goes down. All right, going to my stack here. It's going to be one of our heavies, so the black unit has already activated twice, so we're going to go with this purple unit back here. We are going to line it up as best we can. Don doesn't want to paint the fire. I told him he has to paint the fire. I will eventually paint the fire. I, I painted these guys really fast because I played with a tournament uh, in a tournament with them the day they came out. You mean the tournament you won? The day after. The tournament I won. Yeah, Don won it. How many 12, people were there? 12-man tournament. Uh, no Blizzard Force, oddly enough, was in that tournament. That's so uh, that's uh, that's why I wanted Joe to bring the Blizzard tonight. And so let's see if that got us close enough to shoot stuff. Oh, it did. So we will uh, we'll shoot into, I think, the only one that I can... Oh. Yeah, we'll shoot into the uh, the gold one because I'm pretty sure that I couldn't reach the silver okay. one. All right, so we're back with a full set of dark troopers. That's eight black dice, critical one, into heavy cover, heavy response unit dark troopers. And so we've got a four pack to start with. Uh, we will spend the aim and not convert anything there. So we'll lose these that two. That one's going to be heavy, right? Yeah. So yeah. you're going to roll for two on So I can't lose my heavies on my heavy response. This is yet. true. But can we save the regular guys is the question. No. Nope. <laughs> no, we don't. They die. Good to my stack. We've got another core. Our last core we have over here is these lovely so snow troopers. Joe's not cheating with his movement. He just cheats by sh stacking his deck over here. <laughs> the funniest thing is I could have improvised orders if I needed to. I just didn't have to this round. So we're going to come to the very edge of that. Touching that, we will then fish into that. 
I mean, you grabbed it and you didn't even take it out of I the bag. I didn't take it out of the bag, yeah, I know. Make sure you she... take the hostages out of there. I want to I pull a hostage. We're going to awkwardly watch you shuffle this now. No, we're going to pause it because it's going to take a second to shuffle. People don't want to watch this. And movie magic, we're back. Four hours of shuffling later. Mm. Ooh, some mm. precision scopes or some targeting range finders. Oddly enough, I would have gone with the targeting range finder because it's easier to aim, move, and shoot. It is easier to aim, move, and shoot. I got the logic, but they're where they're at and where yeah, the scoring is, they, they probably far. just have to move every single action now. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to go with Gideon over here. He's got two suppression from the blast. Ooh. Gideon's all rolling them now. off. All right. Uh, and he's just going to move up. Jesus. That's <laughs> that's how to play. Remember here. earlier when we talked about we don't play yeah, sloppy? Yeah, we don't play sloppy <laughs> here. He's moving up to the edge there, and he will... Uh, Go up again. Hill. Take a dodge. Smoking a pancake. Bong in the woods. Yeah. Creeping a flapjack. We'll just take a dodge with him. Okay, dodge it is. Go to my stack. We have the bikes. Oh, I wonder that what live. your stack is. Three sets of bikes back here. Oh darn. Okay, so ugh. Darn pain in this. Guys, I wouldn't recommend painting your your stuff. <laughs> okay. I mean, we can do some sanding and stuff, but we we generally don't need to. Okay, so compulse aim. She'll shoot the wounded unit. Let's shoot the guys who are hurting. That makes sense. Okay, they have double rainbow. Each has a white, red, and black. Impact one. Together, it's two reds, two whites, two blacks. Impact two. Surge to hit. Dark troopers have armor. Let's see what happens. I have name. Oh, good that's... thing you have that aim. Yeah, good thing I have a name. I mean, that's already my impact, though. So let's hope for some crits. No, but we will get uh, just two through. Two through. See if we actually get it through or if he dodges it. Ugh, that is another dead. All right, well, now that it, there's some bikes in range, we'll go uh, with the purple unit here. They will take an aim, and they will shoot into this unit of bikes. They went, so now if I lose one, it's not the end of the world. It's still sad, so we're going to hope we can survive. But if not, we're fine. All right, eight black dice, critical one with an aim into light-covered bikes. That's a good start. We'll spend the aim on these two. That's not a good conversion, though. All right, you're looking at... Four after cover. If you roll all of these, we're just going to go ahead and call it. <laughs> Let's hope for just two. I won't get greedy. If I can roll two, I'll be pretty happy. Oh, good. I would hope so. All right. We rolled two. We get to take two wounds with the bike gloves on. We got our bikes. They're going to do the same thing. We're going to move this in here as best we can without nudging anything over. We're going to go over this. Two right about there. And then they're going to do the same thing as their other friends. They're just going to take an aim and shoot the dark troopers who are wounded. Let's do it. Same as before, double rainbow, impact two, surging to hit. He has armor, I have a name. So there's our. We'll just rule these for fun. It doesn't really matter which ones we're looking for. Crits only. We got our impact showing. Nope. So just. You're looking at a total of two. We're going to impact the black dice just because I think it's fun. Okay. All right. That's another Dark Trooper down. I'm going to go to the stack here. It's going to be Mr. Boba Fett himself. Boba Fett. He is just going to go ahead and jump up to the corner here. And he'll take a pot shot into the bikes that have two wounds already. Sharpshooter sure two, and his, his I have a good feeling one might be dead with Pierce. I'm pretty sure it's dead. All right, so it's two black dice. We searched a crit. We have Sharpshooter two, so it gets no cover. And Pierce one. So we just need one paint here. Take down a bike. Got two. Two Pierce one. Well, let's see what we roll here. Nothing. So we'll take two wounds, and our first bike goes down. But not the unit. Okay, we got our last bike. We're going to use uh, emergency transponders here. Okay. To gain a free aim. And right. we're going to do our compulse action, which moves them up in their little conga line they formed here. Do, 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 so do, it's in the notch face. It's it's on top of it. It's not in it, but see, it's exactly over it. Nope, just cheating, guys. And it's cheating. exactly over it. Cheating to win here. And so, off the table. It's oh, gone. Yeah, that, was me, dead. that was me nudging. Okay. <laughs> that looks to make things worse. Um, so I have to aim. My first action will be to aim again. And then my last action will be to see if we can... See if we can hurt this Dark Trooper unit. Let's do it. Know this song and dance this is the fourth time we've seen it. Two whites, two blacks, two reds, impact two, surgery to hit. I have two aims because so I used an emergency transponder. So I forgot I had it. I should have probably used it on everyone this round just to really up that crit ratio. Well, I mean, if, once you finish this unit off, it really wouldn't have made a difference. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get. No crits again, unfortunately. We'll spend our first aim on these two whites, see if we can pull any crits out of here. Here's one. We'll use the aim on these two here to see if we can pull any other crits out of here. No, but we will end up with three crits this time, and I think that's exactly how much health you have that's left. That's exactly how much health I need. Are you gonna blank, sir? Couple shields here would be nice, or none. Okay. Funny enough, guys, I've played against stormtroopers now four. Times? Dark troopers. Dark troopers. Against dark troopers. Three against Dawn, one against them. Kind of this one. That's the first unit I fully wiped. Usually, you have like one health left, and you teleport across the map and hide. 
Well, usually on all those red dice, you roll one shield. <laughs> Just yep. one. I know. It's... Uh, we're going to go to the stack. It's this red unit of stormtroopers. They're going to take an aim, and they're going to shoot into the one health bike, or two, one wound bike over here. One wound bike. Okay. They might be able to kill them. No. All right, so the bikes will have light cover. I have four dice. I searched ahead, and I have an aim token. Uh, we'll spend the aim on these two. And Trevor's going to eat one, so two for the bike. That's all he has left. He needs a paint here to survive. Why wouldn't you get it? He survives with one Because your white dice left. have more shields than my red dice do. No, I don't want it. I'm not taking it yet. It's Blizzard Force, not Salt. It's Blizzard Force, not Salt. Okay, I guess we're going to go with Papa Vader now. He is going to um, move up like... So I'm going to put the template down so that way people know I'm moving it correctly. <laughs> we're going to come... Right about there. Sure. And then he's going to move again because he's a little far to shoot or anything. Yeah. We're going to yeah. hug this nice little cover that's uh, the snow. And we're going to look back at our troops and be like, he's he's pleased with their, their force use so far because we've killed a full unit of dark troopers. That's the end of the round. That's it, yeah. So we've got these uh, lovely dark troopers that are missing. They're gone. Um, other than that, we moved up. Uh, I lost a couple stormtrooper, or one stormtrooper from this unit. I lost one trooper from my purple unit. Joe lost a single bike and two of his useless dead body health stormtroopers on these HRUs. And then... Uh, that was round one. Moved up and collected stuff. So we're going to go to round two. We'll see how many rounds this game ends up being. Welcome to round two where I went with Darkness Ascends. And now it's just reliable too. That's the part I'm using of it. And he went with Moment of Consideration. Units issued orders by this card gain fire support this round. Ooh. He gave his entourage to the Death Trooper and his two orders to the two Stormtrooper units, as you can see here. Mm -hmm. Mine to Vader, who now has Reliable 2. He won the roll-off yet again. He's got that going for him so far. That's the thing, I guess. You know what you're starting with or you need a minute? Uh, I'm going to go sack. I need either Boba or Gideon to make... Or another Dark Trooper. To make some fire support action happen. So like three out of the five things you can get those? Three out of the five things. Yeah, so just it. not a core. Not a core. I'll take a boba. Take a boba. Give me a second. I'm going to figure this out and then we'll go from there. After a nice little think, Don's yeah. decided. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hop right over here with Vader. Or with Vader. With boba. That puts me in range two. That's boba. Range two That's of our Vader. bike with one health left. So I'm going to put his range two gun uh, into the bike with one health. And then we're going to fire support this unit with the range three gun into this uh, full unit of bikes. He can go for a double bike deletion, guys. That's, Let's see. That's the hope. Right, we'll start with our regular shot into the range two gun, which is three black dice, sharpshooter, so he has no cover, search to crit into the bikes. No pierce on this one. Though. One. One crit, or so. Comes down to this, paint. boys. No, oh, he's thank dead. God. I was really hoping. <laughs> All right, and then we are gonna throw 10 black dice Pierce one, surge to crit. Eight from the dark troopers with their yes. fire support. Two from Boba, the pierce from Boba, the surge to crit from Boba, and the sharpshooter two from Boba. All right, ten black dice. That one's gone forever. It's gone forever, you guys. Just, like, chuck that thing. That's good. All right, so you are looking at surge. seven. Seven pierce one. So you're telling me I need a lot of white like saves here to keep this unit alive. Good thing is he can do this trick once, guys. <laughs> okay, six, seven white dice. We search defense. He's piercing one of these. He did just enough. Just enough. Just enough. Oof. Yeah, my stack. We've got a quarter unit. Let's go with the heavy response unit right here, the one that's in front. Sure. We have both heavies and the leader still left. We are within range three of these dark troopers. So let's take an aim and then we'll shoot um what seven dice into them. That's true. Okay, we've got two reds for the DLT, one red and three whites for the R weapon, and one white for the leader. Mm -hmm. With impact one and surging hit. He has armor. Well, that's Jeez. that's not a bad start at all. We have precise, so we'll spend the aim on these three. See if we can get any more crits. No, but you know, you're st we impact two is going to kick in here. Or no, it's, it's impact, impact one. one. Excuse me. Just, just three. Three. I'll put in the bikes. All right, so one wound on the purple guys. All right, go to the stack here. It's going to be Gideon. Uh, so he will go. And we will wrap him around up in front of our dark troopers and then he gets an aim from tactical and then he's going to shoot into vader and we're going to fire support in our suppressed stormtrooper unit back here and uh, we'll take that shot okay we're actually going to before we shoot we're going to throw the free observation token out so i need to remember to do that and then shoot there you go 
All right, so Gideon's pistol is two blacks, one red. It is sharpshooter one, so his heavy cover is going to come down to light. He surges to crit. It's pierce one, but Vader's immune pierce. And then we get to fire support in four of our white dice from our stormtroopers. Vader's got two search tokens from Reliable too. All right, so that's going to surge to crit. That's a terrible starting roll. Well, great start, but let's see what, let's see what your conversion right, so rate does. We'll spend the aim on these two. Mm -hmm. Continuing to be terrible, and we'll spend the sur or the observation token for fun. There you go. There we go. So just three. Uh, so yeah, cover eats that one. Okay, there's red dice. He does not surge, but he has two surge tokens. So we will spend hey, one surge token. We'll take our first wound. Activates nasty. Do we have tenacity? You do one? not. You do not have tenacity. No, I have into the fray. Into the fray and um, tenacity. Yeah, tenacity. Oh, you do have tenacity. Ah, yeah. my stack. We've got a bike. We're gonna go with these guys here. They're gonna go ahead and take their compulse action first. Sure. <laughs> into the little clicky thing there. Boom, boom. There we go. They're going to take an aim for their first action, and they're going to shoot the Dark Troopers for their second aim. Let's do it. Two reds, two whites, two blacks. Impact two. Surging to hit armor Dark Troopers with an aim. Let's do it. There's our impact two. And then we're going to roll these. Uh, we'll roll a white and a black. We'll mix it up, because it doesn't matter, guys, because we're looking for just Chris at this point. No, so All just right. looking at two coming your way. Two... These guys still have their surge token, uh, but they're not going to do it. They're just going to lose one dark trooper because he was already wounded. Here's the stack here. It's core. Let's go with our three man unit here. Oh, they do get two actions. Told you. Um, and we we were just discussing this, and it's actually more effective for me to melee the bike than to uh, to just aim and shoot it. So we'll just pop on over here. And uh, we'll punch this bike in the face. Okay, let's punch it. So in melee, stormtroopers throw a black dice instead of a white dice, search to hit. And that's three stormtroopers, so three black dice. Three hits. That's it, there's Dad. no cover for melee either, so that's unfortunate. Nope, no cover we, for we, melee. We really need to paint here. Bikes. Nope. All right, one dead bike. We're going to go with Mr. Vader. Mr. Vader, the, he was my measuring guy. Remember we told you guys we measure off camera. So two actions do get me in range of the dark troopers but we'll play it out here so you guys can see it one move and then two move there which we have capes all between the two of them yeah there's too many but... capes but we'll touch right there Boom. and that's going to re give him all here we're going to um pop force choke to uh put the damage onto the heavy in this unit so that okay. way he has to kill him first way yeah damage through and um i think that's i don't need force push at the moment so i think we're just going to bring back force choke at the end of this turn all right, let's do it. Okay, we got six red because it's nasty, because we have one wound from his shot earlier. Because it's our six red. We have impact three, pierce three. We have Jedi Hunter, which won't play any effect in this game. Nope. So it won't matter about that. So no surging. Let's see what we got. Well, it's going to be just three, because I rolled... Three pierce three. So that's just... The heavy goes down, and one more dark trooper. Yep, so we killed the heavy because we did the force choke, which is... Really oh, no, nice. they already have a wound. So two... I lose two. Two total, right? We do use two total, yeah. Right, going to my stack here. It's going to be the black unit of stormtroopers here. We will uh, aim and shoot at the speeder bike for fun. Pop my speeder bike. Right, four to eight dice into light cover. And we'll spend the aim. We search to hit. Thank God for precise one. It might save you here. We'll see. Nope. I think it's, that it's, knocked it, it, it the would have, hit. We would have had one. So, so one after one cover. One goes to cover. And not block that one. Going to my stack. We've got... Our other heavy response unit, this is just a leader with his two heavies. We're going to take an aim and shoot everything into Gideon since he's standing out there so bravely. All right, let's see. Yeah, the shot you've seen it a few times. It's two reds for the DLT, one red, four whites for the R, one white for the captain. We don't have to worry about impact for this round. Um, we don't have an aim with precise one and surge it. He's got red dice surging to block natively, which is really good. So we do. It's not a bad start by any means. We'll spend the aim on these three with precise one. And we'll get one more of it. So, right, so this one will go away. One, so we're rolling for four with Gideon, who does search defense. So it's a good roll. He's got that Mando, not Mando armor. And He's fine. no block at all. All right, last in my stack is going to be the neutered Death Troopers, or Dark Troopers. So they will uh, aim and punch Vader, I guess. Aim and punching Vader. Four dice coming in. All right, so each Dark Trooper throws one red and one white in melee. So it's going to be two reds, two whites. I have two aims. And a search token still, because I never had to set it. Uh, we will spend one aim on this one. We'll spend the aim on this one again. All right, so we'll spend their surge. Okay, so I'm rolling for three. I have one surge token left, and I roll red dice. 
We're okay. your red dice have paint on them. Vader said, nuts today, sir. Go to my stack. We've got our commander. She has this bounty token on her, so she's not really wanting to stay out there. Boba's Boba. super far away. You don't have to worry about Boba coming after her. She's pretty quick. At all. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to fall back a bit. There's a box out there you can go get. I don't know if we're going to go all the way to the box. If we're just going to come to here, I want to somewhat stay within a happy distance of my heavy response unit. And we're going to do another... Oh, we want to do we're going to move to about here. So just partial move. That keeps me where I want to be. I'm Keep a little that farther. courage bubble popped. Yeah. yeah all righty. All right, so my last unit is going to be the three-man stormtroopers here. They're going to aim and shoot into this blue unit of bikes. Blue unit of bikes. All right, bikes will have light cover. I have three white dice searching to hit with an aim token and precise one. Hopefully, we roll three natty crits here. Mm. Or not. Uh, we'll spend the aim on these two. And you get to roll one dice, sir. Good thing this unit won't die. He take a wound, though. Our first action is going to be to take an aim on these lovely guys here. Our second action will be to walk over this here. We're definitely touching that. Moved it slightly because we touched it. We'll f I think technically I shoot before I fish. Is you right? shoot before you fish. So I'm shooting first, but I'm going to fish now for camera's sake. We'll take those. Interesting. I don't think you should take them. I think you should put those back in the stack. You don't You don't need back to cast this. Okay. Four white dice searching to hit in heavy cover. What's the name? Thanks to Steady. Ooh, that's a good start. Jeez. I'll take these two next. Can we do it one more time? No, but that hit will become a hit, but it goes away to the cover. All right, Chris. so two into my stormtroopers who have... Oh, that's still the full unit. No, yeah, that's, that's they won one day. They'll, they'll be fine. They're fine. Go to my core. We have these guys in two. Our first action, first to fish in this box. Oh, jeez. We'll take the other back to right off the bat. This box is now dead, so we're just going to remove it. Doop. It has been tapped twice. It is gone. That one's been tapped once. And then for our actions-wise, I think we're going to start um, moving this way. I think we're just going to do two movements here. One and two. Running to score some points. I'm turn them just like that. Hang on, I have steady. I want to see. Oh, yeah, you probably did get ranged to somebody. I definitely think I have ranged to both. I do. That's... They're definitely heavy cover. Let's shoot them. Okay, okay. We're using our scopes. We pulled off the box last round, so we're going to have an aim four whites. We're going to hit again in the heavy cover. We'll spend the aim. So one crit gets through. One crit onto the purple stormtroopers who take another wound, so they're down to 50%. Okay, we've got this bike here. He's down to half his potential, if you will. Potentially potential. I'm trying to think what's best here. I think it might be better if I just kind of fly up like so. And that gives you a no cover shot. So I'll move up to there, we'll aim, and we'll, you know, we have emergency transpire. Let's pop it too, because I pulled from the stack. Really going to brutalize these stormtroopers. Gotcha. Okay, I, think, I think the aim from the emergency and an aim. I know it sounds silly, but I'm just worried the bike's dying next round, so I want to use it. Okay. There's two. We'll pop the first aim. Oh, we didn't even need the second aim. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> All righty. So three, three hits on these stormtroopers. Your stormtroopers have run exponentially better than your dark troopers. They did? That's in the round because my sack are two cores, which are both dead. Did you go with these bikes? Yeah, they went. They shot your dark trooper. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. So everyone's gone. That's the end of the round. Vader did some damage. He's finally yeah. in the thick of it. Vader completely neutered this unit of death troopers. Choking the heavy is a nice trick. Yeah, it's it's... Pretty rude, actually. Picked up some back capitals we might be able to use later. I ran yeah, away by yeah. offer, sir, so it doesn't get bounty taken by Boba. Yeah, I did at least swing it a little bit. I took out two units of two bikes. Two and a half bikes. Two and a yeah. half. Yeah, so now I only have to deal with a unit and a half of bikes and Vader and these two stupid HRUs. And Blizzard Force is not broken, guys. It's not. Vader's excited to go right now. Round three, I went with Implacable, which has been updated. It says, at the end of Darth Vader's first activation, he may suffer a wound to shuffle his order token into his pool, and when he pulls it again, he only performs one fewer action. The change was he gets a dodge for each activation. So yeah. we'll keep Every time he activates, dodge. he gets dodge. This is, you have something I want. He's going to try to boost these guys out of here. This card cannot be chosen during the first round. Any orders, after orders have been issued, choose a friendly Imperial Dark Trooper unit that has a face-up token, remove it from the battlefield, placing it... Beyond range of any enemy troopers and flip its order face down. So I'm sure he's doing that now. Yeah, we're going to take these guys and jettison them away from Vader before he just brutally murders them. And they're going to go way over here. Okay, way over there it is. Way, way, way by Vader's ship. That's not cool. Okay, Snow Troopers, you have a new, you have a new purpose in life now. 
Perfect. Or do we let you have it and just keep marching to the score? I don't know. We'll think about it. Okay, let's have some fun. Let's choke this dude out. Uh, he's dead. Um, we, we first activate, we get a free dodge. We're going to go ahead and force push Boba. We're going to move Boba like to, I don't know, about, mm, let's just say about there. So that way I for sure can get up there and not have to hang off the edge there. For no reason whatsoever. We're just force pushing him. Yeah, that's weird. And then we're going to take an aim for our first actual action now that we've tapped all our force cards. Oh, look, Boba, or Vader's going to use a, this is not a climb action because it's not taller than him. It's just difficult to lower his speed to one, which is fine. So now we're going to swing away on Boba. The reason I did that is Gideon's immune pierce, rolling right. surge to block. He's impervious with the dodge, but impervious at least has a, cha a better chance of getting wounds through with pierce than immune pierce does. So, and Boba's faster, so we don't want to leave Boba out there. Right. Okay, we have five red plus an additional red for our one wound on him. Tenacity kicks in. We have an aim. We are yeah. pierce three. Boba has a dodge on him from independent, and then he, I also have the uh, the supply dodge. So. Okay, pierce to block. Okay, okay. I have two surge tokens from my um, Darkness Ascends. Let's see what we do. We're going to... Let's, let's start with an aim, actually. Let's risk okay. it. I don't know if I want to... I mean, you don't need to save the aim, so I don't know why you wouldn't do that. We will dodge two. So we're looking at four, pierce three. So I'm going to be rolling seven red dice with my... Um, impervious. Impervious. He gets an extra dice per a pierce to try to cancel the pierce. He does. He's completely and fine. Almost are... all natural blocks, too. Totally fine. Where were all of these blocks on my dark troopers? All right, we're going to go to the stack here. It's a core. We'll go with these black storm troopers. They're just going to move on into this bike and punch the rider in his pretty little face. Will it work out twice? Let's find out. All right, melee, we've thrown a black dice for each storm trooper. So three black dice into this speeder. And you're looking at two. He can't die. Hooray. Oh, we'll only take one. Go to the stack. It is a support. We go with these bikes. They have one wound before they get two hurt here. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually compulse last. We're going to take an aim. Okay. Reverse action. And we're going to unload on Gideon. Okay. And then we're going to, after the shot is completed and done, if you will, we will then have to compulse because that's how the game works, guys. And the unfortunate thing about that is we're definitely in range of dark saberness, but hopefully we do a little bit of damage because we were compulsing either way. Yep. Um, there was no way around that part. So let's just uh, let's just shoot him. Okay. Okay. Two reds, two blacks, two whites. Surgeon hit. Impact won't matter. With name. Oh, this is one of their best shots. I mean, let's spend the aim on these ones. See if we can convert any more. Ooh. Jeez, just all. Of them? Luckily, they surge. Now, can you not roll all paint on the red dice this time? I'm sure I can't. My Gideon has historically been a real bad. He's been pretty decent this one so far. Well, he hasn't done anything yet. Just one. I'll take one. Then. I'm satisfied with that. Where were all these shields for my dark troopers? You're fucking... It's late enough in the video. We're keeping it. Right, we're going to go ahead and go with Gideon now. we got some dark sabering to do, so we will uh, We'll go ahead and take our free observation token. We'll throw it on... Uh, we'll throw it on Darth Vader for fun. And then uh, we will move into base contact here with tactical. That's going to give us an aim. And then we will use the dark saber to try to cut some bikes up. Okay. All right. So the dark saber is going to be five black dice. I uh, search to crit. Demoralize did give Vader a suppression because he was in range one, and he's the only thing that I can give a suppression to with Demoralize. So why not? And uh, we have an aim from our tactical. Let's swing into some bikes. Uh, we'll spend the aim. And then we search to crit. So three pierce one. Well, I'm losing one bike probably, but definitely not the whole unit. We'll lose one bike, and that will carry the one wound over on the other bike. So we have two health left on the leader, at least. Yep. In my stack, we've got this. Let's fish in the box for the last time with that box, and then that box will be tapped. I'll give it a quick little toss, because I can't remember if I shuffled it or not. And we got target rangefinder and arc wielder. I guess let's go with the targeting rangefinder, because we're not going to need the other thing. This box then disappears, because it hasn't been fully tapped at this point. No kid. And then we're going to um, do it. No trooper. Make sure to put your arc wielder back, buddy. No, I don't need that thing. Um... I, know, I thought about taking them to it would take a couple turns to get there, and then it's armor, and they don't have anything to help with armor. So I don't think that's – I think if I just make them over there, then they negate that point he got there. So I think that's what very we do true. is we're going to just start hustling this way. We're going to hustle so, so much. Okay, they're going to hustle up to there. Okay. And then what, we have light cover or heavy cover. So let's um let's shoot the light cover ones. Let's see if we can do a little more damage. Sounds good. Four white dice, surging to hit. No aim, no nothing. They have light cover. 
just a suppression. Sounds great. All right, go to the stack. It's our dark trooper unit. They're going to be uh, dodging and standing by. <laughs> they, they're securing their point. My stack was Vader because with Implacable, like, he took a wound and put it back in the stack. He does have one suppression from Demoralize. He's going to keep it. Um, he gets another dodge for activating, as the card says. I only get one action here, so I'm not going to aim. I'm just going to swing into Boba Fett. Swing into Boba Fett. Okay, we've got five red plus one for Fnassi equals six. Boba Fett's impervious. He has no dodge this time. I have three surge tokens on me. We got one blank with Don Wanted. We will spend a surge token. So you're still looking at a total of five pierce three, though. Let's see if you can not hopefully roll all paint again. All right, so we got eight red dice here. Uh, we are so going to take one. We're going to pierce and pierce, and he negates a total of... You should pierce one more. Yeah, pierce starts three. Four, which means I have one left, which means I do a whopping one damage off of nine... Oh, wait, or actually, no, it was it was 11. 11 dice. Jeez Louise. All right, we're going to go over here to Mr. Stack. We got Boba Fett. He, uh, he, he throws three whole red dice onto your two dodge Vader, so I don't feel like that's a worthwhile use of his time, so... He is going to go ahead and disengage and just end up right over there. And that will be Boba Fett. Oh, after his first action, by the way, he brought back Force Push. After the second activation, he brought back Force Choke. So there is everything back. We're going to go to my stack. We've got these guys over here. Sure. Um, they already used their scopes last turn, so we don't have that active. So let's just start trudging them towards scoring position as well. So okay. one. And then two, they're joining these guys here. What's up, buddies? How's it going? We miss you. They're gonna throw all four white dice unaimed into the heavy, into the heavy unit because that'll give them their second suppression. Maybe panic them. I don't know. That's true. Well, we'll, we'll panic, panic, them, panic them, but maybe they will keep the panic. That's totally possible. Four white dice, surging to hit. No aims. He's heavy cover. Looking for any paint, please. We got a crit, which will give him a suppression crit. and have him make him break a roll. And they're fine. They're fine. They get their second suppression, so they're currently panicked. I go to the stack. It's on the course, so we're going to go with the two-man unit back here. We'll take an aim, and we'll shoot into this bike here and see if we can't do another ding wound or two. All right, so we've got two white dice. we got an aim. We've got light cover. Let's see what we can do. Nothing so far. We'll spend the aim. We got a crit. Got to make that save. We don't, but if this is our second wound, he's still alive. All right, running my stack, we've got a core unit here. That's these lovely heavy response units. They're going to take an aim for their first action. Sure. We've got Gideon within three, and um, his red dice are hot, so why not keep feeding him? Let's see if we can hurt him. Sounds great. Okay, you guys know this heavy response. Three reds, four whites, surging to hit. Precise one. He's got heavy cover, I'm assuming, from that angle? I think so. Yes, heavy cover. Okay. It's not a bad start again. It's four. Because we surge, so let's spend the aim with precise one in these three, see if we can get any more. We got another one. So these two will go away to cover, but you're looking at three still. Three for Mr. Gideon. Okay. Is there blanks on those red dice is the question. Probably. One so far. Two. All right, two wounds on Gideon. All right, going over here to the stack. It's a core. We'll go with the red guys. They'll take an aim and shoot at the speeder bike. Okay. All right, so four red dice. I'm sorry, four, four white. white dice. Light cover. Aim. Uh, we got one so far with a surge to hit. Nice one. Whoop, whoop. No, no. So just nothing, because I don't take suppression on bikes. I'm going to say we've got a core. We're going to improvise orders, because we haven't used it all game. We're going to go with the core there, and we'll shuffle those up later. You mean the speeder? Or the speeder, I mean. And the speeder's going to, so we're attacking melee. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little silly here. A little silly, because it's going to be a whopping, what, is it one black dice up? Oh, they rolled two. Okay. We'll take an aim, and we're going to shoot our pistol backwards at these two. Okay. To give them more suppression and keep them hopefully panicked. So aim, shoot with two black, and then use our compulse action to fly off into the distance for now. Born free. Okay, okay we've got two black dice. We're using our pistol shooting backwards at those two stormtroopers. They only have light cover because there was no cover blocking them besides their suppression. With an aim token. There's one. Just suppression. Time to go with them. He's rallying it up. All right, my last unit here. we got three... Um, He's staying panicked. We're going to be panicked there. Which, so. the new panic doesn't mean he runs away. He does remove one. He's just going to forfeit all his actions. And at the end of his activation, he removes another. one, which does take him off of panic. He's just suppressed now. So that's how that works, just to kind of go through it. Going to my stack, we've got the other HRU. We're going to aim and shoot Gideon. That's sure. how that does. Let's do it. Okay, three red, four white again with these HRU shooting at Gideon. He has one health, heavy cover. Guys, as a non-imperial player, I really wish I had access to heavy response. You know, they, are, they are fun. They get all the dice. Oh, that's, uh, okay, well, you know, I guess I praised them enough where they, they liked me. So let's win the aim on this one. I hope you convert it just for, for argument's nope, sake. Nope, but you're going to lose two to cover, which means you're making a four again. 
I just need one to get through. Can you roll one blank on, or is he going to come strong with that armor? He dead. Okay, going to my stack. We've got Officer Becky here. Becky's going to... The HR user doing fine. The Gideon just fell, so she's not too worried about it, so she's just going to run this way. Do, do, do. We're not even worried about that box. We're just going to completely ignore it. I forgot it was there. Don, you just hit it. Blended in. It totally did. Yeah. So we're going to go twice to here just to get with these guys and start commanding this way. And uh, that is the end of round three. Gideon did fall. Vader has two damage on him, but he's got stormtroopers to eat. Boba's still alive with only one wound. I have HRUs both with the heavy, both heavies left, and only one bike left, or two bikes left. One has one wound, one has two wounds. Are we going to round four? No, there's no, no okay. reason to. I mean, it's just... So this is the first time I've actually ever played against Blizzard Force. I've actually owned... No, I've never played Blizzard Force myself because when Blizzard Force came out on the channel, we were doing our cup series and we had two or th we two. had two Blizzard Forces in the cup. And they played against each other round and one. they played each other round one. So I'm like, I can't play Biz Blizzard Force on the channel with two other Blizzard Forces, and so I just never ended up playing Blizzard Force. Which is weird. And, you know, you, you hear all the Blizzard Force talk on how it's competitively destroying everything. Let me just say something, as someone who doesn't play Imperials. It's a pretty good list. I mean, like, my bikes didn't even roll that hot offensively. They, they really didn't. And I still did that. All right, let's, let's take that a little bit further. This is a pretty good list, and you have 18-point bid and emergency transponders on all four of your bikes yes let, let, let's talk about i have a couple ideas for a long time about how you can fix this there's two, really two in my mind of good options i think the first thing to do is introduce these guys these guys those guys are probably the easiest thing you up the base unit by a lot i've heard people say anywhere from 15 to 20 points which might be crazy well, yeah, if but... you have an 18 point bid and 10 activations and every activation so... except for two of them is effective yeah, so I've heard people say 15, 20. I don't know. I was thinking between 10 and 15 each up at least. Um, I also think if you go that route, you make the list have to have two snowtroopers. So you have to bring them. This list already did, but yeah. not every Blizzard Force does. Most lists I don't think run two. Okay, that's first my first one. My other option I think is something that Legion can introduce. It's really easy. It's it's uh, point scaling where the first speeder bike costs exactly what the first speeder bike costs. Normal. What, 75 is out there? Yeah. 75. Next bike costs 78. You add three. Next bike costs, what, 79, 80, 81. The fourth bike now costs 84. Yeah. So you're adding three, six, nine more points to have those four bikes. Yeah. You could play with the points. You can even go up to four each. That might be a bit much, but you could make it scale yeah. themselves. So if someone wants to run the four bike blitz, you have it. And probably my favorite fix to Blizzard Force that guy right is there. You t just like, why does Echo Base only allow Commander Vader or Commander Luke? You right. can't bring up Luke, but Blizzard Force allows Operative and Commander Vader. I think it should be Commander Vader only. It should be a Commander Vader Because this only, list, the way they built this, besides the bikes, was also you have these heavy response units. You have a command card that lets your snows go faster. It's supposed to be commanding troops, and if Commander Vader has compel. Right. So I think that's where they're going. So if you just take Op Vader out and up the heavy response unit just a yeah. little bit, that I, probably fixes it. I think the crazy thing is, is like, battle, battle forces, all of the other battle forces have a limitation that hurts their list building aspect. For the, the Separatists, you have to bring one tank. So you really soak up a lot of points, and then you're like, oh, I can bring eight core, but it's 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 a cute trick, but it doesn't do anything. With the 501st, you have to bring all of the arcs, and you can only bring one strike team for every full you unit. You have to bring arc. all the arcs, but he, what so he's saying is you have to bring a full arc. You're limited in every single battle force, except for the, 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 the Blizzard Force, where they're just like, no, no, you can just have it all. Like, I don't think Echo Base is really limited too much either. They're probably the second best Battle Force. Right? They're the second best. Remnant, Remnant, I don't know yet. Stay tuned on that one. They might be up there. Remnant has some Remnant's interesting gonna be, tricks. Remnant's got a lot of potential. It's going to be cute. But it's just Blizzard Force feels but I don't like want, it's not even in the same category as the other Battle Forces. I will say people who love Blizzard Force and love Empire, I don't want AMG to go too hard like we've seen in the past. Oh, I, don't, I don't want them to make Blizzard Force so bad no one right. wants it. And I don't want them to think, hey... This is the only Battle Force that got a unique unit. Let's not do that again. I think that's a really cool idea. I really it just like needs that as to be well. cost appropriate to the unit. So, I, think, I think they just need to make it so you have to make a choice. Like, you can't have Vader and four bikes and two heavy response units and points to play with still and and have no downside. Like, it, it, it's just a lot. So tell, tell us below what you think. If you think, if you think, Bell, if you think Echo or Blizzard Force. Force is a little OP. Mm hmm. What do you guys think fixes would be? I gave you my three big suggestions. Yeah. The easiest one is take away Operative Vader and update your use yeah. a little bit. 
The second one is to make the bike scale pointing. And the right. third one is to make it have two snow troopers and up the heavy response units a good amount. Those are yeah. my three fix ideas that would I think yeah. would fix this unit. I think in this game I learned a lot. Um, I, I bunched everything up thinking that they would be able to take one or two bikes down together in this corner. And then I didn't take anything down no. until you totally destroyed a unit of dark troopers. A little bit had to do with those dice. I mean, I should have rolled a shield or two. Yeah, um, I think those troopers. probably should have been alive in the round, but I don't think... Yeah. I think you still would have lost one unit. I think I would have lost that, that unit, but I think I should have had, yeah. you know, one more round of them. Yeah, I agree. Um, so that hurt a lot. I, I really should have split the forces, so maybe a Dark Trooper and Boba over there, and then the rest over here, so that you had to do something on the other side of the board, other than the two Stormtroopers. Which I did um, not kill. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Honestly, Your you've, you've, killed, better than anybody. you've killed Gideon and one Dark Trooper unit. That's it so far, yeah. But the problem is, is I just have no teeth now, and you just have you out activate me so easily to kill me that there's no point in going on anymore. Yeah, the plan next round was to uh, move down, chop up the full health mm -hmm. stormtroopers, force choke another one off the other stormtrooper, right, and let Boba just run around because at this point I don't think he's gonna get his bounty. She's hiding pretty good at the... I, yeah. I don't think... I mean, if I tried... If I put a double up move turn in there next turn, I could probably start poking at her, but getting one more victory point and having no other points to score wouldn't have helped me much. Yeah, I was going to run him around circles to keep yeah. the, <laughs> keep him alive. Yeah, with the you would have been here. able to easily score with him. And those guys would have started blitzing. This guy not dying really hurt me here. Like, had he died, I could have continued working, but you have these two still. Yeah, and that these were three ready. units are about... They just need to get to yeah. here. Yeah. Just right so, here. Just for you guys to see how close, like, this is the scoring zone right yeah. there. So one more, what is it, double move? What do you think? Yeah, two, I mean, two we, still have, we still have two rounds to go. So one round would look like, let's just see where they threw him. Oh, yeah, you would have been easily in there within two rounds. Yeah, of double so I just moving. need one more activation there, and he, he's in. Yeah. Originally, when I saw this, when I when I put the cards together for the list for you, I'm like, why would you want two snowtroopers? But they're pretty effective with that double move. Like, having one extra just naked core of stormtroopers... I don't think would have been better than having the. I don't. I don't know. It's certain maps maybe because you can go two speed twos if you really need to move. Yeah. But the being able to have the steady shoots nice too. Yeah. Um. So I, I I can see both sides. Yeah. And then I I I'm just harking on Blizzard Force again because just. <laughs> but like, what objective don't they want to see? What objective doesn't Blizzard want to see? Um. They all are fine with recover? all of them. Probably be the worst, right? Because their bikes maybe? could gun some people down, but. But you're fast enough that I couldn't recover something and then just hide because you've got four units of bikes to come and kill it. it, it in it, one way, yeah. Yeah, it's... but your bikes have to approach. I, I, I'm I, just saying, if I had to pick one, maybe, maybe that's recover. probably the worst one for them, I think. Are you thinking of it? Look, it's definitely sabotage isn't bad. No. Nope, Intercept isn't hurt. bad. No. Nope. Breakthrough's great. Bombing run is their godsend. They want that one. Hostage isn't bad because of Vader. It's really good. Yeah. So I think the only one that would be somewhat out of their favor would be recover, especially if you have something like an... A cat, an Iden, a Jinn, or so kind of yeah. anything you can get right next to them and just start running, and you re use the rest of your force to hold the bikes back. Yeah, that's, that's about it. So I'm gonna have to think pretty hard on my strategy for for Adepticon. I mean, I have no goals or aspirations of actually making it into Worlds, but I want to enjoy the three games that I play. Your on Your Boba Thursday. Fire Sports shots dirty. That's good, and like the Boba card that gives the the Dark Troopers an extra black dice twice, so they get to throw nine dice twice. That's good too. That's really good. I do have Boba's one pip where he can whip add range. I don't oh, have the whipcord in here, and now I'm 100% switching teams to the whipcord. Yeah, I, I think for Blizzard and for whether yeah, it's Luke or Anakin, you want the whipcord yeah. to like, hold it I, back. I like the, the cute marksmanship extending range. Like, a range, range 2 flamethrower is cute. Like, you can really toast some stuff up at range 2 yeah. with a flamethrower, which is fun, but I think having that whipcord for all of the Saber users you're going to see is going to be super important. Yeah, I agree. Um, I had fun playing Blizzard Force. I know it's feels weird because so people I killed a Dark Trooper unit and almost yeah. killed two, so that was pretty nice. Um, I unfortunately, like I mentioned, will not be at Last Chance Qualifier. That's a Thursday because of my work, but I will be there on Sunday for the team tournament with John. We don't know where we're running yet. So we should we have it literally no idea. We Maybe we'll do a big Shadow Collective. It'll be fun because we both have Shadow Collective. We do. It's the only faction we both. have. It's the, it's the only one we share. But, but I mean, we probably have enough. Let's to... do Blizzard Force. Let's really be unique. Yeah, people really like Gray Squad. No, look, Gray Squad has to play Blizzard Force over there. Hey, we got we got eight units of speeder bikes and two Vaders. I know you can't do that, but that'd be cute. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for hanging out this long. If you if you hung out this long, comment something unique, and we'll 
maybe add an extra entry for you. Yeah, why not? And also, if you guys enjoyed the live and want more, let us know below. We're going to be doing that roughly once a month with Get the Games. Right. They're going to be throwing stuff at us for a lot of those shows. Not every time, but the first one, yeah. they gave, we gave away a full uh, 501st Battle Force box, and there's going to be more of those type of things coming. So yeah. I definitely hope tune I, in. I hope I win that Battle Force box. We would like that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be given away live, so you, you do have to be on our lives to get those prizes. Correct. With that said, have a good night, guys. Bye.